I think that <clears throat> it was a good show. We had fun. The remodel meant porta potties outside. Oh yeah, they were yeah, decent. They were the nicest porta potties I've ever been in. Y'all check it out. Mike brought me coffee. I'm gonna use. Oh wait, what is this? Heavy whipping cream. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Pent Talk with Sean and Lisa. <laughs> that kind of is that way, yeah. Oh my gosh! You're so sweet. Mike. So our video is going to be next to impossible to edit. It's a It'll good thing I'm not right. the one that's doing it. <laughs> Look at the take your computer oh, home with you me and did on that. I know you know, it's awesome, isn't it? That's from teaching. At the camera. I taught for seven years, and every year it was like more and more and more grayer. Look at me. I just have dark roots. But she no. colors it. <laughs> it's. Um. So for our YouTube followers out there, I'm, oh. This must be painful to watch. Well, they're not. It's not live. We're gonna. Edit no, it. but it's still gonna be painful to. This but must what, be really Mike's painful. All right, so I have pin boo 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 boo's 183 platy coat on, grandifluorous, grand. Is it recording? Grandifluorous. Yeah, the red dot's beeping. Here's one of my very favorite pins. It's a Conway Stewart. I love this pin. I just love the color so much. This is a pin that I made. It's a majestic. It's it's made by Sean Newton. Well, they don't make this anymore. And, <laughs> and it's a red ripple ebonite here and here, and then it's matte finish, and then Let's it's see. black. It's like fun with flags on um Big Bang Theory. Yeah. They Except actually, they actually talk pens. about flags in, don't they? Yeah, we did talk about pins. For a minute. Now we're even drinking coffee and stuff. This is kind of the normal routine. It's Do you see that did I show you this? This is the thing my wife made. This is her first prototype. It's a zipper case. I love the fabric. See the, the feather the pins? Yeah. Feather pins, see? I, and on this I side it's it. got dip nib things. Plus I love the black and white. And it's got this stuff for stuff here. See the little <laughs> flappies? Yeah. And you know what it fits? See this? It's a phone. Watch, I had my phone in it in the car on the way up here. Look at that. Perfect. Now I have I have my own little, what did Jerry Seinfeld call it? A purse? No, his was something else. This is my man purse. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, she's making them with zippers on the top now, which is awesome. And I have my pencil that I got from Van Ness. It's a Graph Gear 1000. See? It's got the little boop. All right. So we sell other things, not just fountain pens. We and sell all kinds of nifty notes and papers. Oh, that's cool. We we sell this, those. Yeah. Do you sell these? Yep. Yeah. This is a tough what, rider. Tough rider. I got this at San Francisco. See tough rider. See. Yep. See. Click, click 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 click. And he sells his clicky mechanism separate I'll be there too. So I can put. Pick no, I don't have a fanny pack. Although I did see a fanny pack that Tomorrow. the bottom of it looked like somebody's hairy belly. I think this oh, is the prototype, right? So funny. It's yeah, that's the so first awesome. one. So, um, so uh, Wendy, we'll have to wait on ours until after she gets more made, right? Yeah, she's working on them. Uh, yeah. She's going to try to have a few for the Elizabeth, we need Colorado this fabric because we like this fabric so much, if you're still watching. Mm. Elizabeth, love the fabric. I don't know if we can. That's from, um, that's, this is like a custom fabric, too. I like it. She, she did a, a she bunch of. She put your logo in there. She could make some like that. My logo's it's just there. It is right there. No, but it's y'all's name. Yeah. All right. I'm leaving town tomorrow. I'm going to see the grandbabies in Houston. Did I mention that we made this pin and eyedropper? I forgot. We did that, right? Yeah. The reason know? that they needed to be discussed is Look we get emails too. about it on what materials work for eyedropper. Oh, let's talk here. So, so, so not every material works for an eyedropper. No, don't eyedropper a vintage K-Sand pen. Those are made out of milk-based plastics, and they'll swell and warp and, and distort, but I don't think any of those pens are... They're all lever fillers, like Burnham and Conway Stewart pens. But some people are using K-Sand, uh, like modern K-Sand from the 90s, from old pen Who's makers. That? Really? And a couple of them have like made yes, their I'm entire going to pen. Yes, Houston tomorrow. And are you kidding me, John? How could this be scripted? I'm sorry. Is they this scripted? This you is... figured us out. <laughs> oh um, my God. I would not eyedropper a casein pen because it'll, that would mess it up. But any acrylic, any ebonite, uh, all that's fine. Um, some, uh, what, what are they called? Not extruded. 
I'll be in Deer Park. What's the what's the uh, manufacturing thing uh, where they have a the big machine? Here. Uh, Crap, where is the they have the little pellets and beads and stuff. It got what's it called? It, casein is a milk plastic. Yeah, and they use milk curds. Yes, milk is from cows. No one can make Lisa <laughs> follow the script. <laughs> that, that's true. But Sean is just as bad as I am, to be fair. I used to follow a script when I wouldn't. Don't I drop her brass pens? Because oh, that's what I was going to say. Supposedly, uh, inks, certain inks especially, can eat metal. Uh, they're like uh, they're like gremlins in water. You know, no, they don't reproduce. Wait a minute. Don't feed them <laughs> after midnight. It eats the metal. Anyways. There he is. Say hi to Wendy. She's on. Yeah, Wendy. Yeah, Wendy Lenny. Oh, is Mike going to be in the video? <laughs> Okay, so Look, now that Mike's here, so I'm not going to be in the screen. I'm just going to show the two of them because we're discussing eyedroppers because so many people have been asking. Are you surprised I didn't use all the sugar? Um, so Mike is only halfway in the screen. Is it all you're going to use? On that one. Oh, no, you got coffee on the coloring. There Hi. we go. All right, so um, don't use eyedroppers and brass. Make a case and pen, ship it with... And this empty make carton with your logo on it. How long does it wait oh, for One more minute because we know we only get three minutes with Mike because he like loses his patience really fast. So here's the deal, folks. You can see Mike, he has no patience for these videos. That's according to her. That's really. How long does it wait for Newton Pen? Uh, yeah, 11, 12 months uh, if you order it right now because I do. Thank you. Because I do orders and a coffee dropper pen. I wouldn't put coffee in a pen. That's gross. You gotta drink the coffee. Um, so uh, I do pens for shows, and then I do pens for, you know, the orders and stuff. Um, so I like I gotta switch and go back and forth. But uh, I mean, if you make an order, uh, the way I'm doing it now is you don't need to give me any money up front. So not until the I'm making the pen. Part of the video was going to be about Colorado. I believe that we had somebody ask us about Colorado. These two fellas will be in Colorado here and here. <laughs> yep. I need a screenshot of that. <laughs> uh, we'll be in Colorado. We're going to Colorado Pen Show. I went to San Francisco Pen Show two, three, four, a month ago. When was it? <laughs> we went to the San September 21st? No. No. no that's no, today. today. <laughs> September 21st. That's August. They're, yes, they're going to... Well, we're calling it Colorado, and y'all can't see me, but we're Denver. talking... We're talking Denver right now, and uh, all the other things, trying to fit them all in very quickly... Oh my gosh. <coughs> we are going to talk about, and John K. Martinson, Wink, pen, uh, formerly of cold. Susan Worth Notoriety, is going to be there as yeah. well. Who? John K. Martinson, right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going to be there um, representing for Susan's uh, merchandise, and it's now his merchandise. So he'll have a table, and I think it's martinsonworth.com is the website. Mike will be there representing Van S. Sean will be there representing Newton. Me and Elizabeth. Me and Elizabeth. Oh, that's right. Elizabeth see? And, and we'll Sean. have these and she'll have a bunch of wraps. And if you get a pen, this is the guy who makes me resin. Hey, Bob, I'm on TV Live right now. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> ah, who knows? All right. Bye. Uh, he makes a lot of the resin for me, uh, and he also made, um, what's this stuff called? The resin for the Arkansas pen? Illumilite. Illumilite. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for you to go yep again or something like that. To he confirm. actually used his words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, yep. Um, if you want to buy pens and ink, you can, you can buy the pens from Sean, and you can buy the pens and ink from Mike, and you can buy paper from Mike. And if I you want pen cases, you oh, got to go through Elizabeth of yeah. new pens. Yeah, she's just getting yeah, better, y'all. I love this fabric, I'm telling you. Yeah, and she did one, uh, I forget what it was, but on the inside it was colorful stripes. It's real pretty. Very cool. And the whole oh, video. Mike, do you have anything fine. that you're wanting to uh, talk about in particular that you'd like to uh, put on uh, Grandpa's basement while you're at uh, Colorado? No. Grandpa's Basement? Yeah, that's our What's clearance that? department. You have a clearance department called Grandpa's Basement? Yeah. So at the old store on 12th Street, it was actually Fern that came up with it. Some of you guys will know Fern. Um, Fern's, yeah, there was a basement. And it, his grandpa took naps in it. At the 12th Street it. store? And his oh. grandpa took naps in it. Go it ahead. Did he really? The basement was as big as the store. 
Oh, yeah. Well, right on. And so they would, like, let buddies and friends and pals go down there and buy stuff on the cheap. If you dig it out of the box, we'll sell it to you. Susan Moore spent a lot of time down there. <laughs> I forget she was there. Really? And then lock up and leave her? Did you really? <laughs> that's great. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and Susan go way back. So, um, the I know that he's going to have some Parkers that you want to, that you're going to have. Didn't you customize a body of the Schaefer Imperial recently? Not recently. Thank you. No. I know Brooks has made a few of those. I know Ben Franklin Christoph make a lot of those. <laughs> what? They do the Schaefer barrels. Legacy. Yeah. Legacies, yep. Yep. Uh, I don't think I've done one of those It was yet. before your time and my time, yet. Wendy. Um, speaking of Franklin Christoph, we're going to have our own pretty soon. Oh, yeah. That's going to be cool. Mm -hmm. They're going to have their own. Them. Go ahead. People watch out for that because we'll have them. This is going to be so hard to edit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, so Lisa and Mike in the Van Ness Pen Store having a, a pen made by Franklin Kristoff. It's going to, what is it going to be, like a special color? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a special color? It's right there in that. No, 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 show it. Don't show that? No, don't show it. I'm not going to show you. I'll show you this yellow thing. This is not a Franklin Kristoff. This is a Bexley. <laughs> Submariner. Submariner. See that? It's got a steel fine point nib in it. Ooh. Oh, the hearts like exploded at the screen when that went on. That was kind of weird. Well, they're not really available. Here's Ben's. Uh, okay, Mike's done now. Oh, shoot. What's his name? Bioworks. This is the ben Bioworks. Quark. Ben Quack. This is the Bioworks Owl Pen. Of which you cannot get. They're all gone, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we have two sets, but. So Michael, Three I minutes. Guess. He lasted what six? The banana pit. We're going to Denver. I'm going. To, we're going. To, ah! That's a Waterman's. This is a very big we're Waterman's. We're having fun tonight. Twenty. It's ooh, it's slip cap. Look at how big that nib is. All right, we don't know what that means because it's not got anything next to it for reference. We'll put it next to a standard yoga num number. Eight, six. seven, six. It's number twelve. It's a number 12, Mike tells us. That's a big old nib. See? And it's an eyedropper. And it's an eyedropper. Is there ink in it? No. Probably won't ever be ink in it again, will there? Be this careful is... with it. Look at that crazy feed sticking out of the back. <laughs> I don't actually have gray. I mean, or so my um, hairdresser lies cool. to me and says. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hey, Wendy, do you remember when we had um, Henry's little, we had his little yeah, eyedropper? Well, the chasing wouldn't be. Um, and then we had this one together. I have pictures of that. It was the first time that Henry Simple ever had cornbread. That's crazy. It's given up on the YouTube video. What's up, YouTube? Comment below if you want us to focus a little That's right. more. <laughs> um, so when you check in and ask for the <coughs> non- train track side? There's a <laughs> intersection right there by the hotel so it goes ding dong a lot. <laughs> you know we really haven't talked about San Francisco and we probably should wrap, do a wrap up. What happened in San Francisco? We sold some pens, sold we had some a new egg, kind of party. sold some pepper. The party was fun. Okay so for the party what we did was we all sat at tables. I had a table that was mine because they gave me one. I was like, what am I supposed to do? And I told you go sit over there in a corner. She told me to sit in a corner. You can't put baby in a corner. That's from Dirty Dancing. <laughs> yeah, I made a pop culture reference. All right. I thought that was from Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> I get that one. All right. So I was in a corner. I was actually in a corner too. I had a I big round this. table. Okay, go ahead. I was at a big round table and it was a lot of fun and they said, all right, everyone go sit at the table, let's pick a table. And I went and sat at this table and I had my beer and one of the people bought me another beer. I was like, yeah, thank you. And they were like, so what do you do? What is all this? I'm like, these are pins. I start with this and I had a bunch of rod stock with me. And I made, told, like kind of talked through the process of kind of making a pin, how I got into pins, how my wife got me started in pins because I didn't know what a fountain pen was until Elizabeth got me one. I talked about the scholarships, the endowments, nobody puts pin before, the endowments and raising money for kids to go to college, for high school kids to go to college, 
and what's going on, what what became crystallized at San Fran was Ron Krusek, Krusek pins, Kerry Yeager, uh, Fountain Pen Day fame, uh, Rickshaw Bags is donating sleeves, uh, but Ron Krusek is making five pins a month, spe spe specialized pins a month, uh, <laughs> They're going to have the Fountain Pen Day logo and it's going to be filled in with crushed turquoise. And 175 from each of those pens is going to go to the Newton Pen Scholarship and Endowment Fund. They've already raised over, like, over 1050 so, for the fund. Yeah. And we don't have a pen to show off of it. But Look on uh, newtonpens.com. There's, there's links to uh, the pen yeah, and on I my Facebook and stuff too. like that. It's a double end, yeah. Yes, hide the dessert. Um, so, so there's Sean Newton and Elizabeth Newton. Two, so two of us. Sean wasn't Newton the only Newton. person that had a table there. We had other specialists and everybody rotated around. I totally wasn't the only one, yeah. So there was 11 or 12 vendors. Did you have a table? No, because I was supposed to rotate everybody around. I had a room. You were the teacher. Brad had a room. I had the unruly class. He had the good students. Our room was loud. Everyone Ours was like the pencil room was trade so quiet. tables. Uh -huh. um, as they were supposed to. Who so. else had a table? Paul Arano had a table. He talked about vintage pens. Lay Reyes had a table. She talked Which about... Which is the reason nobody would leave, because they played at the Nakaya, and it was all over, and nobody would uh, switch. And then Steve Kerno had a table with paper stuff, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the pencil... Jim Rouse and Anna uh, Reiner, were in, they were all in uh, my room. And then in the other room, it the was... The Erasable Podcast. It was Jonathan. Talking about pencils. John Martin. Jonathan? Jonathan. Uh, okay, Brooks 803. Jonathan. Oh, Brooks. Oh, he had a table too? He was in the other room. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah. What was he it, talking about? Making I don't know, pens? He, he was talking about a room. roof sheet. I'm sure he had to get tired of his phone out. <laughs> <clears throat> so we had a, a rotation <laughs> system where people could um, learn from different, what we would consider experienced professionals. So we were at a table just really playing with art and let, like, oh, we yeah, had Joey Grassy had a table, didn't Not Joey Grassy. Joey. Feldman. Feldman. Oh. Well, Joey didn't want to be responsible for people, so he was at the table, and Anna kind of ran it. But she did most of the talking. He played with the paints and inks. Yeah, and everybody so. watched him. That's cool. So, um, everyone then, uh, seemed John, to really like it. Paul talked vintage, and David Isaacson joined him. And then in the other room, we also had a different paper table going with Jason, whose last name I can't remember, but he's from LA. Um, and then. Oh, Matt Armstrong. Matt Armstrong talked flexi nibs. You guys may know him as the Oh, really? Uh -huh. um, it was really, it, it was actually a success despite how disorganized we make it sound right now. The it was people, a lot of fun, and at the end of it, uh, there were a bunch of prizes. giveaways, yeah. a whole bunch of door prizes. And so Brad lost his voice, so I ended up having to stand up on a chair to be seen. That um, kept telling me to stand up, and I was already on the chair. Jimmy Roush? Yeah. Old Jimmy. So, um, we had a really great time. The people learned a lot because they were able to get to a table and uh, really dig in with some vintage specialists that could help them learn. And especially for a newbie, it's intimidating, just like us doing the eyedropper. If you haven't done it before, thank you. Um, oh, yeah, something about eyedroppers once you put the grease on. Well... A wet paper towel. We will, we will, but only if, uh, well, there's some, uh, call me Oscar next week. Call me Penthusiast. A wet paper towel works to get a little extra grip. Oh, all <laughs> over the table. It's just water, but it'll help, help you unscrew it. It's on my table. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, when you eyedrop or pen, uh, the silicone grease has a tendency to, to make it grippier than it otherwise would be. Plus, you want to, yeah. So, I didn't mean, but uh, yeah, San Fran was an awesome show. Um, and uh, so, after San Fran, so is there anything else to recap about San Fran? Um, but let me see. Uh, San Fran, San Fran. Yeah, I think it was a good show. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed yeah. the drive. Uh, I would say that. Um, like, I'm attached to Atlanta because it's the place that Wendy and I went first, and it's, like, where it all started. Um, but I, um, and I wasn't sure San Francisco would even work out just because I had some things going on personally with grandkids and stuff. But we had, we enjoyed that show a lot. The weather's nice. It's a nice break. 
and we do well. So shout out to Bruno Corsini. You can look him up. He makes pens. He came and visited by the table a bit. He uh, he gave me some cool material and told us to drive up Highway One instead of going up One Twenty One to the bigger highway. So I don't even know the highways around here. Highway One was pretty. We got to go through some tunnels and drive on the coast, and we stopped and checked out the ocean and got our feet wet. And so did it was that awesome. Add time to it? Did you drive? That was Sunday night. Oh. That was our night to go into the city and check it out. But uh, yeah, and it was Mike awesome. Mike and I went to Alcatraz. We had a good time at Alcatraz. Um, <clears throat> but so for me, pin show season's over. I survived. Um, I'd had a long summer, so I just needed to get through it because I had a grandbaby that was born in June with special needs and had a lot going on. So um, you know, Good taking summer. a break for. You know, for, Let's see. So Colorado, you guys, it's happening. It's happening in t two October weeks. October fifth is my birthday. I'm turning thirty-seven. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna be older. Oh, I'm going to Seattle for my birthday. Okay. I'm gonna celebrate the anniversary of my thirty-ninth birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so what? The twentieth anniversary of your thirty-ninth birthday? Oh, oh shoot. What did you say? I didn't say anything. So um. Yeah, actually, I am going to Seattle, so I'm going on October 19th, and we're going to have a Seattle-ish pin posse meetup, and tell me what you'd like me to bring. Oh, yeah, there's a big club up there. I don't, they said like 15, 20 people, I don't know. Uh, uh, October 5th is your dad's birthday? Yeah, October babies. I'm October 19th, we're both October that. Are you an October like, baby? I, yeah, I just said I was going on my birthday to Seattle on October 19th. Oh, I didn't listen to that. So, um, Colorado, coming up, what's the date starts? October, October 6th, because the 5th is the day I'm driving up. Okay, so 6, 6 7, 8. Okay. October 6th, 7th, and 8th, you can find Sean Newton live in Colorado, in Denver. You can go see his wife as well, because she's cuter than he is. And uh, you can see her cool pen cases. And you can also see my beloved husband, Mike, right there in Denver, Colorado, at the pen show. And where is it? Somebody tell me where it is. Denver, Colorado. Purple Denver. The hotel. Oh, it's hotel. on the highway 71 or something like that. That's not helpful. <laughs> it's on the Colorado Pin Show website. You people are crazy. They have a good website. Bring purple pin. Oh, lie. Double <laughs> Street North. She said it's Double okay. Street North. So, um. Pronounce. What up, YouTube? We're giving you our attention now. That's right. Um, you can find me in Seattle, October uh, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I believe our meetup is scheduled on the... One of those days. It's on the 21st. So I'll see you guys in Seattle on October 21st. I think it's at 2 or 3 o'clock p.m. Um, and that's your time zone, not mine. And you can see Sean in the mountain this zone. This guy at October Denver. 6 through 8. 8. <laughs> at a hotel with the pin show. <laughs> Double Tree Hilton North, I think someone just said. And we um, will also have be represented there. We, as in Venice, will be represented there by Mike Venice and Danny Who's, Harris. Is anyone else going? Just those two? The, just those two? Just those two guys are going. No one else is going. Well, there's other people, Chris? but no other. No, representing the store. Yeah, if you're no, looking for Chris, Chris will be there. Chris will be in Little If you're looking for Krista, she's in college in Minnesota. She's in college in uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin, that's what I meant. She's at Northland College. That's that's what I said, practically. And if you're looking for Cassie, she won't be there. Just She'll Mike, be here. Just Mike and Danny. Danny. And there, so Mike, Danny, and Sean, and Elizabeth will be re representing Arkansas. We think they'll represent us well. Um, Was it Woo Pig Suey? No. You guys, so we appreciate your time. And uh, if you have any questions or anything you'd like us to address, then right here. Me? Oh, oh comment like, below. Comment below. That's not, that doesn't, you gotta do this like the kids do on the YouTube videos. I don't videos. watch YouTube with kids. No, the kids on the videos, because it's kids doing it. Um, the next show for Sean will be in Arkansas. After Colorado. Yeah, next year. Uh, I'm gonna do Dallas next year. Arkansas and Dallas, that's two. And then yeah. we're gonna do St. We're gonna we talked about it, we're gonna do St. Louis. St. Louis is a new show. Uh, it's gonna be in the summer. We're gonna bring our kids. We're gonna go see a big museum in the afternoon. So Arkansas in March, middle of March next year. 
Okay. Let's get through that one. Oh. And then Arkansas. March. Um, it's still at the new hotel. Yes. And, and it was really Lawrence good. Indies. Our, we'll have an open house here as well. And we will be turning 80. You guys are old. I know, right? Van Ness is 80, y'all. We'll be turning 80. And we're super excited. And we hope all of you guys will come and see Sean and myself. And um, help us celebrate. Yeah. Maybe even Farney's, but neither of them are the original owners. Really? If I remember correctly. Now, Fountain and Hospital may be the original owner, and it's like younger. So we could say this. You're in the top three of the oldest pen shops Well, and in the Farney's country. is not the original owners. Oh. It's changed hands like three or four times. Oh. So they're older than us, but, but they're not, not the original. family. Like, it's no, there's no Farney people running it. Where Van Ness is run by Van Ness's. Vanessa's. <laughs> That's the plural. Yeah. Uh, That's why my name on Instagram is just Vanessa. It's not Vanessa. Well, you get a bunch of Vanessas in a room. It's called a flock of Vanessas. So you guys will see you uh, around. Or you can come to Arkansas. Tell us in advance because we both come to the Arkansas Pen Club meetings. In First, second, second Thursday of every month at a... Let's say this clearly. Second Thursday of every month. You can stop by here, say, hey, we'll take you to the new location where they have the meeting. Or you can Food was good, too, yo. You can meet us straight over there at Bar Louie's. We'd yeah. love to see you guys. And um, let's see. I can't think of anything else. Arkansas. The Arkansas show is in March, right? Yeah. So Arkansas nice. Pen Club is every second Thursday. Every second Thursday. I go <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> and um, if you have anything that you'd like us to address on this YouTube show. Editing! Then <laughs> we'll be glad to discuss it with you. <laughs> um, we'd love to hear from you. And you can comment below. Right? This is okay. Or you can email us. Uh, my email is venice1938 at gmail.com and Sean's is Sean at newtonpens.com N-E-W-T-O-N Minus V A N N E S S. V A N N E S S. You need to come up with a jingle. V A N N E S S. V A N N E S S. Bad S is the very best. Da, 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 da. Is that how you spell V A N N E S S? Don't put your name up. Oh, I, I'm not. <laughs> Bye. See y'all later. Bye, y'all. Bye.